If you live in the United States and you've been growing tropical milkweed to help the monarch butterfly population in your area, please stop and please stop immediately. And I'm going to tell you why. The short of it is, is you are putting the monarch butterfly on the fast track to extinction. And I'm being serious. If you doubt anything that I'm going to tell you in this video, please Google it and read multiple sources. I've been researching this for a couple of weeks now. I've read dozens of, source, dozens of sources, but believe it or not, the beautiful monarch butterfly, which we all love, which we all grew up watching the caterpillar form the chrysalis and turn into a butterfly on the milkweed leaves as children, is currently being considered to be placed on the endangered species list. One of the biggest reasons why is because so many well-intentioned gardeners in the United States have been trying to help the monarch butterflies by planting the tropical milkweed, which is a native plant indigenous to Mexico. Uh, he here's why, here's what's going on. Okay, deforestation in Mexico was a big problem through the 80s and 90s. The Mexican government finally has it in check, but uh, this is where the North American butterfly goes to uh, in, in the winter. Okay, it's a migratory pollinator and we see them all over the United States up into Canada uh, in the summer and it's mid-June right now and we have a, a milkweed patch here and, and we've seen a couple this morning but in about another month in mid-July they're going to be all over the place laying their eggs they're going to hatch out of their chrysalises with butterfly wings in August September and then they're going to start their trek into Mexico okay in 1996, 1997, uh, there was a patch of forest in Mexico where they study the monarch butterfly population and they did a count and basically the monarch butterflies coming down to Mexico, going to Mexico from the states and from Canada was covering 21 hectares worth of forest. For my fellow Americans, there's about two and a half acres per hectare, 2.47 acres per hectare. So. Um, you're looking at roughly 50 acres worth of this forest was covered in monarch butterflies. In 2015, just a few years ago, this was reduced to 0.67 hectares, which is about one and a half acres. So, any 2000 teens. In, in just over 20 years, approximately 20 years, we've seen the population drop from what once covered 50 acres to now covering only an acre and a half. So a lot of well-intentioned gardeners in America decided, well, we're going to help the butterflies in the winter, the monarchs, we're going to start planting uh, this tropical milkweed, which this is not, this is an indigenous milkweed to Virginia, uh, but it looks like this, which is in Mexico. Okay, here's what's going on. Uh, these tropical milkweeds are thriving in Texas, from North Texas down all the way around the Gulf of Mexico. So a lot of the monarch butterflies who historically have been going down into Mexico for their winter migration are stopping in Texas, and Mississippi, Arkansas, Florida, along the coast of the Gulf, and they're staying there. Well, that's not so bad, right? What's the big deal? Okay, two things. Of course, even the deep south will get a deep freeze every now and then, and that can wipe out a lot of the monarchs. But the biggest problem is, and I wrote this down because I wanna pronounce it right, um, there's a parasite called Ophriocystis electro, electroscira. Ophriocystis electroscira. It's called OE for short, because you don't have to write OE down. Okay, this parasite uh, in, infects or affects the monarch butterfly. So here, like we're in zone seven in Virginia, and we've got several different types of milkweed. Uh, this. Uh, is an orange type milkweed common name people around here call it butterfly weed but it is a type of milkweed and then my favorite is the kind that forms the pink balls the the locals call this swamp weed but this too is a type of milkweed it's just now starting to come into bloom you can see the buds here haven't fully opened but we've got some out here that are I think this is prettier uh, the butterfly weed but the reason the swamp weed is my favorite is because it has such a beautiful scent to it. I mean, you can come out in the mornings and once this stuff's in full bloom, you can smell it all over the homestead. And it really draws into butterflies. Um, but this stuff, it gets so cold here in the winter that this will freeze off and die off. And any of this OE parasite that's on this plant will die off as well. So when the monarchs come back up north, coming uh, from Mexico, none of this OE stuff is here waiting on them. Well. The OE does not die off due to deep freezes in Texas and along the, the Gulf Coast. 
So what's happening is the butterflies are becoming uh, infested with this stuff and the parasite feeds on the butterfly's body, weakens it, often killing it. Now, any of the butterflies that have this infestation of this OE parasite who do try to migrate into Mexico, say the next winter, they don't make it because they're too weak, they die. And they just fall into the Gulf of Mexico or over, you know, somewhere along the border and they die. This has been drastically reducing the population of the monarch butterfly to the point of near extinction. Perhaps within months or a year or so of you watching this video, you may hear that the monarch butterfly has been placed on the endangered species list. I hope not, okay? But here's what we can do. Here's what you and I can do. Number one, stop growing that tropical milkweed that's native to Mexico. I went to Amazon and disgustingly, you can buy it all over Amazon, okay? That's the bad news. Here's the good news. You can also buy uh, the indigenous forms of milkweed uh, indigenous to the US on Amazon as well and it's the same price so you can get the butterfly weed you can get the swamp weed don't get that tropical milkweed that's indigenous indigenous to Mexico I know you're thinking oh but it will be here in the winter we don't want it here in the winter we want it to die off and we want the monarchs to go to Mexico the Mexican government has made great strides in the last decade or so especially to stop the deforestation of the area where the monarchs go for the winter so it's going to take care of itself but folks if we try to help them, you know, I say this a lot to my, my beautiful wife who's, who's making this video. There's pretty and there's practical. And when you're dealing with nature, you need to make sure the two go hand in hand. They don't always. You know, we made a video recently on people who like to braid their daffodil foliage after the, the flowers die off. They're, they're halting the uh, photosynthesis process and each year they're going to have less and less flower blooms on that plant until it eventually dies off. This is the same thing that's going on. Uh, I bring this up because the reason I started getting into this is I met a wonderful lady who's, a, who's an avid gardener in town a few weeks ago and she had a type of milkweed I'd never seen. This is how this conversation started. I asked her, what is that? Because it looks a lot like this, but slightly different. And she told me it was um, the tropical milkweed native to Mexico. We get into this conversation, she bought it. There was no other milkweed in her area. Folks, I'm gonna go see that lady again and I'm gonna take her a bucket with a big old root ball of this native milkweed, uh, the swamp, swamp weed, and probably some of this. I'm gonna say, ma'am, will you please kill off that tropical milkweed you planted and put this in its place? So one of the things we can do, stop planting it, number two, help our neighbors. If you have a lot of milkweed like we do and you know people in your area who like to garden, offer to give them some indigenous milkweed for free. Tell them you'll even dig it up for them and bring it back, get it in the, in the ground and it'll come up year after year after year. So guys, I hope you take this to heart. Tell everybody you know to stop planting the tropical milkweed that's indigenous to Mexico. If they live in the US, don't put that stuff here. And let's make sure that these monarch butterflies do not end up on the, on the endangered species list or worse. So if you enjoyed this video and you learned something from it, please subscribe to our channel, Homesteading Off The Grid, and we'll see you next time.